Anyway, apart from my majestic arm, I wanted to talk to you guys briefly about caffeine. What is it? Who is she? What is she doing in my mouth? Why is she keeping me up at night? Who the knows? Let's talk about it. The most popular drug in the world. Not my personally, not my favorite drug, but you know. <laughs> Why is it the most popular? It's easily accessible. It tastes really good. It comes in a variety of textures and flavors. And I couldn't advise uh, jumping on the caffeine bandwagon enough if you need a good kick up the bum in the day, which most of us do. I know personally me, it's nap time pretty much anywhere from 11 to one o'clock on most days as like a prerequisite to exist, caffeine or not. What can we do in order to combat the negative side effects and encourage the positive effects? With caffeine, obviously it's a stimulant. So what we wanna do is figure out the max dose that we can have and the minimum dose that we can have. Typically with caffeine, the threshold or the minimum effective dose is gonna be one to three milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So I'm about 113 kilos. So I would need 400 milligrams of caffeine as an effective dose or somewhere in the realm of like 100 and 50, let's say, for my body weight and that sort of stuff. Now, for you, if you're a 70 kilo human, it would be 70 milligrams or 80 milligrams, whatever it is, but those are the numbers. The thing that you need to be concerned about is caffeine can give you this overwhelmingly stimulated feeling sensation. And if you wanna feel focused and you find that caffeine makes you distractible, what I would definitely advise is taking some L-theanine at about 200 milligrams alongside. Now you can get L-theanine, um, it's a naturally derived thing from, I believe, green tea. That's why green tea is sort of touted as a really effective stimulant because it keeps you focused and alert, um, but doesn't give you the sort of jitters that caffeine might do if you overdose or overuse it. So L-theanine is available in capsule form. It's like about 200 milligrams per capsule. Typically is the best dose to be having with your caffeine. And that's gonna keep you alert, focused without any jitters. What I would recommend on on top of that is limiting your caffeine to around 12 to one o'clock at the minimum or maximum. Let's say if you wake up, you have a coffee at eight, what I would recommend is probably having your last one at 12 if that's what you want as ca caffeine has a five hour half-life. So let's say if we have 160 milligrams of caffeine in a large coffee uh, at eight, and then we have a large coffee at 12, that's 320 collective milligrams. Now by 12 o'clock, that 160 milligrams, will be 80. So then our cumulative total left over will somewhat be around the a realm of 240 milligrams in our system at 12 o'clock. Now by five o'clock, that'll be 120 milligrams. And by 10 o'clock, that should be 60 milligrams. So by the time you go to bed, you've still got a shot of espresso in your system. Whether or not you choose to understand that, whether or not you believe that affects your sleep is completely and entirely different as caffeine has been shown to negatively impact your sleep. What I would recommend, again, is cutting back from that 12 o'clock standpoint, just to minimize any negative effects. Because let's say you had that one coffee at eight, and then you had one at three, that, what, you'd have, the, the cumulative dose, let's say if we're at, you had 80 by one o'clock, and then you'd have 200 by four o'clock, I think. And then so by the time you get to bed, you'd have 100 milligrams of caffeine in your system. I think that's about how the math works with the half-life stuff. As you can see, like a double, almost you have a double shot worth of caffeine in your system if you only started taking your caffeine at three or four o'clock. Really, really good investment and really, really good strategy is to make sure that you have your caffeine before 12, to mitigate and get rid of all those caffeine related side effects so that you can sleep more effectively and you can recover a lot better from your workouts and from your life and all that sort of jazz. Hope this video helps. See you guys in the next one. Adios. Team, if you like that video, be sure to click here for your next video or here for something that you may like, all that sort of stuff. And make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you get all our videos. We make at least one video daily on a different topic. See you on the next one.